Hello, how you folks doing out there in TV land? This is Apostle Andy Tidwell. You might know me from my broadcast in the early 2000s on 1570 WBGX AM in Chicago. And uh, I did that broadcast for, for, for a long time. And uh, this is my show here, my broadcast here. And the title of the broadcast is Time with Apostle Tidway. And today we're going to talk about a subject which I call Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. Jesus Christ was speaking. And you can go back later in your, in your reading and you can go back and search the scriptures, the, the, the verses in uh, St. John 14 and 1, where Jesus is talking to his disciples. And it crosses over to us. Let not your heart be troubled. Now, when God created Adam, man, and we all come from Adam, and if you read my book, you'll see how. How did we get all of these people from that? Read my book. Uh, and you can get that book at www.tipofindustries.net. You can download that book for $15. The download. You get it instantly. I don't have to sing anything. You print it out. You can read it online. You can keep it. It's a PDF file. My book, How Did We All Come From Adam? And uh, lots of revelation in that. But Jesus said, if you believe in God, believe also in me. Now, God created Adam. First, God created the garden, created the, the earth. He, he, in great detail, he created the earth. Because he wanted to be perfect for man. When man got here, he created all that, everything came before, preceded man. And God created the perfect world for us. And he intended for us to live there forever. Now, so much of God went into Adam. Adam, so much of God went into Adam. That God didn't want himself walking around on earth. He wanted Adam to be a person. So he placed a tree in the garden. And he said... Don't eat from this fruit. If you do, you'll die. That completed that. And I, Adam had a choice. Right from wrong. If you eat from the garden, eat from the tree. I don't party no more. Excuse me. If you eat from the tree, you'll die. That completed Adam. He had a choice. He wasn't just God's puppet. And uh, we'll read that in Genesis 2.15, how God placed him in the garden. When Eve was introduced, Adam chose Eve over God, but God told him, and he ate the fruit. He was disobedient. You can read that in Genesis 2.17, what happened right there, when Adam failed. And when Adam failed, God had to change his plan. Adam wasn't going to live there forever. He changed the plan. He got another plan lined up. This is what happens if Adam eats, eats the apple. God had another plan. Uh, so Adam failed. And we can read that in Genesis 3.19. You can go back in and read it. We're not going to read that today. But Adam failed. And his curse was, you chose Eve. Now you have to take care of it. I'm no longer going to take care of both of y'all. It was welfare all the way back then. I'm not going to take care of both of y'all. You chose her, now you got to take care of her. And you show till the ground by the sweat of your brow. So those complaining about alimony, uh, taking care of the house, one up in the eye, you, it's because of your bloodline. You have a curse. You have to receive Jesus Christ in order to redeem yourself from the curse of Adam disobeying God. God hates disobedience. He kicks Satan out of heaven because of disobedience. Simple. He likes people to do. That's why he chose Abraham. Abraham did what God told him to do. Now, Jesus Christ came 
into the scene, into the plug. God promised Abraham, the Savior is going to come from your seed. And Abraham, an old man, God said, the Savior is going to come from my seed. And uh, you can go back and read that story in Genesis. And uh, Jesus Christ had to come to redeem man. God required a blood sacrifice for redemption. Jesus Christ was that blood sacrifice in the redemption. And in the being redeemed, God had to start a new paradise. So people are waiting for the rapture so we can go up forever to live in heaven. God made the earth for man for us to live forever in peace on earth, not in heaven. And uh, you can go back and read that if you'd like. Revelations 21, 1 through 27. It's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. No sun, no stars, no moon in, in those verses, according to the Bible. And we will be, if you lit by God himself, God is the light. God's going to light the, the, the earth, the planet, the new Jerusalem. God's going to light it. And uh, we, we won't need, no need for light or anything like that. When we get to New Jerusalem, and Jesus Christ will be with us. There'll be no more church, according to the Bible. If you read through those scriptures, and that, once again, I'll read that again, because people will say, well, he's making stuff up. He got his own doctrine. No, it's right here in Revelations 21, 1 through 27. You can read through there. No more church. Ain't going to be no church in heaven. And uh, we will be in the garden, in, on earth, in a new Jerusalem, forever, with Jesus and God. And uh, this is why Jesus Christ came down. His, his intention is going to be fulfilled in the uh, new Jerusalem, which will come down in those verses. And we'll be redeemed. We'll be as one. According to Jesus, that if you be planning on that, now you get, you get a group that say you, you go up there and get some virgins in heaven, you get to have sex. Jesus said, we won't be having sex in heaven. So if, if, if you want to get your row out, we won't be having sex in heaven, according to uh, Jesus. And this is it for the word portion of the broadcast. We're going to live on earth. We're not in the heavens. We're going to live on earth forever in peace with Jesus. Brothers and sisters, all of us, no relationships, brothers and sisters forever. That's where God intended it with Adam. But he's saying, it won't be no sin, no devil, because in Revelation 20 and 10, the tempter, the tempter, the one who tempts us to sin, will be bound and cast into a lake of fire. And all of those who followed him and did his unholy will will be cast in there too. That means people. All of the angels that followed him, all of the people that followed him, all the people that who chose to treat people wrong. Even though Jesus said, love ye one another, this is a command. It's not a suggestion. He said it's a command. Love ye one another. All of them people are going to follow Satan in two. The Bible in this pit. While we enjoy ourselves. The New Jerusalem. Those who follow. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my... I love Jesus. But if you love me, but You'll keep my commandments. How do you show that you love Jesus? Treat somebody right. Give a homeless person a hundred dollars for no reason out of your check. Yeah, Can't, don't get those shoes. Give it, give money to a homeless person on the street a hundred dollars. Show Jesus that you love him. If you really want to be in New Jerusalem, but if 
if you don't want to be in New Jerusalem, and you want to wind up like a rich man who didn't feed his brother Lazarus, bagging at his gate with sores, but no food. And we don't have that reference today of the rich man. I didn't prepare that. I'm just vibing right now because we, we have uh, five more minutes of the word portion and I'm just vibing. But Jesus Christ paved the way. He said, love me one another. You don't, you can't be up there if you don't love people. I don't care if you speak in tongues, run around the church and give prophecies. If you don't love people, you ain't going. You're going to be with people. And it ain't gonna be no ain't gonna be no devil to tempt you. He's gonna be bound and cast into a bottomless pit forever to be tormented by the tormentors. And this is the end of the word portion. We're gonna go on to some music now. This first song I'm about to do is called I Ain't Ever Going Back. I got this beat in my studio when I was in Illinois. I was in Cayman Park. And I had a, uh, a, a, a guy by the name of Brody Styles. And he came into my studio and I said, do you have your own music? Would you like to make it, you have a keyboard? So he said, I, I don't have, I said, I got a track. So he took the track, uploaded it. And he brought with him his friends. And they were all rapping hip hop and all that kind of stuff. About two weeks later, Brody Styles was killed. He was stabbed to death. But he left the track behind in my studio of him, I, uh, of him and his friends. Now I went and made copies of this, the songs that they did, and I gave it to all his friends. I gave it to all his friends. And that way they could have a copy. So I get my money back from the CDs that I bought. I charged a dollar. So I made some of the money back. About $10, which covered the cost of the CD. And the 10 people bought a copy of uh, Brody Styles. Brody Styles left this track behind. So I said, I'm going to do a spin on it. We're going to talk about Jesus in this song. And here it is. I ain't ever going back. Christ let me back in. I 
Song that uh, I start, I, I was I, I was in a party, a Christian party, and I was on a bass guitar and I said something I thought they all should hear at the Christian party. So I played a riff and I said, "No more fornication." And everybody stopped what they was doing. They set they they food down and came and gathered around me. I was in a chair on a bass guitar, just working out, and they said that should be a song. So I went home and I wrote down some lyrics in great detail. And I taped it up, printed it out, and I got a hold of a studio in Chicago on the south side. And when I got to the studio, the engineer, I was sitting there and I was humming and I was at a bass line recorded on a handheld recorder. And he, the, studio, the studio engineer translated that into music. This is what you're doing. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. And he translated Then I, I hired a bass guitar, Andre, a friend of a friend from high school. He was at the party. He came in and played the bass guitar. And then I had some other people come in who was on the track. Here he goes. No more fornication. 20 years ago, I wrote this. It's how I'm going to live this life. Living it sanctified. No more fornication. It's how I'm going to live this life. And every day sacrifice. No more fornication. Day by day, play by play. It's the holy way, what can I say? Never ever gonna let the devil stop me. I'll tell the truth till they prop me, cause it gotta be told. And I know the priest of gospel that I gotta be bold. And I know some folks ain't hearing cause they gotta be showed. So I'm living faithful, the life Jesus paid for. Ever grateful for your grace, Lord. It's how I'm gonna live this life. Living it sanctified. No more fornication. It's how I'm gonna live this life. And every day sacrifice, no more fornication. Every day I wake up and give a praise to yet another day. To get it right, salvation's not a destination, it's a plight. To make it, it's a fight. The righteous person's simple urges. Jesus purchased from my sins and from this thing called new behavior. You are Savior, so I'm gonna keep crying on my knees. Because I gotta be heard and following the scriptures that you gave in your word. It's time to live this life. Living it sanctified, no more fornication. It's how I'm gonna live this life, and every day sacrifice, no more fornication. Now with a little bit of pleasure, worth burning forever. I'm so loud. I don't think it's no more Cause I'm so loud I don't mind no more 
cause I'm sold out. Don't tell me no more, cause I'm sold out. I don't shack up no more, cause I'm sold out. I don't steal no more, cause I'm sold out. I don't drink no more, cause I'm sold out. Don't see this up no more, cause I'm sold out. I don't pop pills no more, cause I'm sold out. Don't go clubbing no more, cause I'm sold out. Play by play, living it 
the holy way, what can I say? Never ever gonna let the devil stop me. I tell the truth to lay prop me, cause it's gotta be told. And I know the preaching gospel that I gotta be bold. And I know some folk ain't in it, cause they gotta be showed. So I'm living faithful, the life is just paid for. Ever grateful for your grace, Lord. Now I'm gonna live this life, living and sanctified. I'm gonna live this life and every day sacrifice no more hesitation Every day I wake up and give him praise for another day to get it right. Salvation's not a destination, it's a play. To make it is a fight. The righteous versus simple urges. Jesus purges from my sins and from this thing called low behavior. You are savior, so I'm gonna keep crying on my knees because I gotta be heard and following the scriptures that you gave in your word. Good night, good night, and still in the wall. 